back to Chartin on Sunday for a 10 race program. All races on the turf as well. No trophy races as such, but we do have a few class acts on show and a few first starters as well. A very warm welcome to the show. I'm Andrew Lejeune, joined in the studio by four analyst Paul Alley and race caller Tom Wood as well. Tom, and so, yeah, the debutantes I think will be interesting, but there'll be one horse in particular later on the program. We'll be going around a very, very, very short price favourite. There certainly will be Andrew, and he'll probably be from the Douglas White stable. He's got three really good chances through the course of the afternoon. Of course, Inner Flame, who's a three from three far above. It was a nightmare of a watch for a far above punters last time out. And Super Wealthy, who's two from three as well. So those are the three stars coming out of the, the Douglas White stable. Best race, I think, is the last race on the programme. Zach Purton riding Decrypt. Yeah, and it's Alexi Padella who ride all three of those um, horses. Alexi's final day here in Hong Kong, as it is Lyle Hewitson. Uh, Jackpot wise, that's the word I was looking for. Paul, what have we got? Nothing. No, there's, <laughs> there's no jackpots uh, here. All the money was won last week. Uh, look, it should be a really good card, though. You've got, uh, as you say, Alexi Bedell having his uh, final farewell, and he's got three really good chances. So it'd be good for him to go off on a, on a treble mm. uh, if he did manage to get all three, or even a double if he managed to get two of them home. And uh, Lyle Hewitt's and off to Japan as well. So we wish them both the best. Yeah, Joe and Grant still on the sidelines, Tom. So Zach with a treble midweek, nine behind Joe. Yeah, he's uh, closing in. We're uh, over the halfway mark now of the, the season, but uh, he's starting to rack up a, a few winners and he can uh, pull a few more back on Joe uh, with his rides uh, on Sunday. Yep, full book uh, for Zach. Um, as far as the horses that won't be winning, though, on Sunday, I can tell you two of them. Or is one's been replaced by Forza Angel in uh, race number seven. And uh, Relentless Me also out of the seventh, uh, not replaced there, which was um, a ride of Alexi Bedell. So it's just down to the, uh, the nine rides now on his final day. So it is meeting number 49 with all 10 races on the turf, B plus two. Uh, we're racing on false rail as it is in effect down the straight, which we have two races down a thousand metres. So we start with one in match fact, class four, with five horses making their debut. Healthy luck though, back into this class where he's a winner in the past. Zero Hedge will be ridden by Alfie Chan, now a seven pound claimer. Alfie with a winner midweek. Athena, decisive 12, prime time. Uh, Super Mission and Sweetly Baby are the horses making their debuts and down to Chung Wa Jing Sen, Keith Young and Peter Ho from Barrier 3 who drops from the 1650 on the all weather down to 1000 metres here on the turf. Decisive 12, prime time and Super Mission, the three of the first starters have all spent some time for Chung Fa in the last 30 days Tom. And with there being first starters in the opening race of the day and four runners having their second start or less, there could be a bit of variance here over the 1000 metres with this uh, speed map. MM Johnny, now he's got uh, blinkers going on for the first time, he slightly missed the start but he does have some speed, Zero Hedge will be going forward one would think for Alfie Chan, uh, one of the first starters there, Super Mission, he led uh, in a recent uh, barrier trial, you can see another the first starter well back there that is sweetly baby but uh, some variance for race one this horse is going well at the moment he's been downgraded as well healthy luck he's now come here into class four he's one of a lot higher rating before under a good hold good draw and uh, everything looking positive for him so he goes well here in the morning Athena now this is a, a gelding Athena just if in case you say he all the time but the uh, tongue tie will go on the cross nose band go on he's had five trials uh, 1031 pounds so not the biggest horse around but has had those five trials and another one of the first starters is this one here, Super Mission, uh, and he has had the two trials. He's 11.79 powered, so big horse here by Super Easy, and he's drawn well for his debut run down the straight. Yeah, barrier 13 for him. We'll have a look at one of his trials in a moment or so. Let's start off, though, with uh, Zero Hedge, with Alfred Chan now having his first ride as a £7 claimer, his first ride ever for John Size, uh, fighter boy. Cheap power bots and stock legend also included. Yeah, Zero Hedge is racing well enough. Uh, weight relief should help him. He might have been a tad keen early in this uh, run. Fighter boy uh, comes into uh, this off the back of a, a decent fifth in this race uh, behind Del Hefe, who was able to win down the outside. He was at 14 to 1 in the market, so I'd expect some improvement from him. Yeah, I've got, I've got them both in Fighter Boy and Zero Hedge. Mm -hmm. so I think they're both showing enough to, to run a good race, both of them. Yeah, and Zero Hedge has one off a market high 66, so 58 here plus a £7 claim. Might be well in. Uh, trust me, uh, when he won down the straight here two starts back, looked pretty smart. This is him behind War of Courage last time. Yeah, and it, was a, it wasn't a bad run as well. War of Courage will run later in the day. He's only the one-time winner from his 11 starts, but the win two starts ago was very, very good. And he's got Zach Purton, Barrier 14. So another one who will probably start favourite and... Uh, 
You can see him just finishing off here. Yeah, he'll have the benefit of the outside rather. That horse finishing into third, there's Happy Alumni. He's since come out and uh, won. And uh, this horse here, trust me, has had a, a lameness issue. Lame left front, that's why he was scratched last time out. And Happy Alumni learns later on on the programme. M.M. Johnny. Now he's had one start, M.M. Johnny, over the 1,200 metres where he showed speed. Blinkers go on, he comes back in trip. Yeah, and I think he's improved with those blinkers on. His work's been good. He's been naturally fitter after that. He's got that uh, natural pace. He did go out. There was a bit of support from on debut. Nice quiet trial here. You can see he wasn't pushed out at the back. We've got uh, Chad Schofield, change of jockey there on him. So, look, he's a double-figure price, I, and I, I think he's a chance in this. I mentioned before he was m slightly slow away from the start last time. I don't think that was really his fault because he was sort of bumped at the start. So I'd be uh, I'd be throwing him in. Blinkers on back to the uh, the thousand metres. This is Supermission trialling up at Chongfu, and he had the two trials. Alex Life from Barrier Thirteen. Yeah, this horse was in New Zealand with Lance Robinson. I think he won a trial at uh, Rangiora. He wasn't a, a very expensive purchase when they brought him out of the, the sales there. He was quite restless in the gates and one trial up at uh, Chongfu, but he did show good enough gate speed. Um, he's He's, he's interesting there. He's in the market at 10 to 1 at the moment. Yeah, I haven't got him in. He's, he's drawn quite well, though, for, for the run. But uh, we'll see how he gets on on debut. Sweetly Baby, unencumbered three-year-old. Casper founds Blake Shen. Gets barrier four. Um, what price is him? He's over 100 to 1 at the moment. Yeah, he's 11.87 pounds, so another big horse. He's had the three trials. Tongue Tie will go on his uh, debut run. Another one I haven't put in. I haven't put him in either. He was formerly with David Brideoke. He'd trialled at uh, Cranbourne in Australia. He'd ran second there in that trial. Sort of moderate gait speed and finished off just fairly there. I thought so. I'm happy to watch him first time out. All right, the market suggests uh, plenty are as well, but early days as far as uh, that's concerned. So, experience or the fresh horses, Paul? What are you going I've with? gone with the fresh horse or the gear change with the blinkers on uh, MM Johnny. I think he's improved from start one to start two. He's double figure price, so each way for him. Healthy Lux were really well rated coming to this. Uh, he's drawn well and he's one off 67. He's now down to 58. A fighter boy, another one of those un inexperienced horses, but showed enough on debut, and zero heads in there for fourth. So he gets the claim, and then he's a well-rated horse as well. Seven, one, six, two. I left the favourite out. I'm going to go with one of the tried horses here, uh, Zero Hedge. I think he's uh, well rated in this race and uh, with the claim of Alfie Chan, seven pounds off, I think he can go close here. Zero Hedge is racing well. He's at eight and 2.1. Trust me, goes in. He's the favourite, 3.4 and 1.4. Uh, Fighter Boy liked his first up run behind El Jefe. And uh, the other one I threw in was M.M. Johnny off the back of a trial. Back to 1,000 metres, blinkers on. Horse number seven for uh, Millard and Schofield. Two, three, six and seven in the opener. Yeah, I've included M.M. Johnny as well. I think healthy luck with a class drop. And I did include Super Mission as well of the debutants there in race number one.